I will never forgive y'all. Never. Mm -mm. It is a sad day for sure because 85 of FK Twig's demos were leaked. Actually, let me correct that. She was hacked, which is even more invasive and horrible, which means all the works for the new FK Twig's album slash project slash whatever we were going to get are completely scrapped. This is so very upsetting on so many levels. I thought this would be a great opportunity to pay homage to the amazing artist that is FK Twigs because unfortunately, I don't think this is the first time that their spotlight has been stolen. Hi, I'm Kate. I make music and I talk about things that I love and I certainly love FKA Twigs. The first time I saw or found out about FKA Twigs was when my friend River, shout out River, allowed me to accompany her to an FK Twigs concert. And let me tell you, to this day, that was the most dynamic single life-changing concert I've ever been to. There was tap dancing, there was wushu, there was singing, there was dancing, there was pole dancing. It was incredible and it completely shifted my perspective as an artist. I made my song interesting the very next day. I was just so inspired by um, an artist that really makes music that demands to be listened to. And you know, don't get me wrong, I don't think FK Twigs is looking for anyone's <laughs> sympathy in that regard, but she deserves some <laughs> celebration, especially in such an invasive and terrible time that she must be going through now. Not everyone knows, but Miss Twigs got their start, or at least their public start, as a background dancer for many a uh, pop acts. This included Kylie Minogue, Ed Sheeran, Tayo Cruz, most notably, or at least I guess the first time I experienced <laughs> FK Twigs without knowing uh, she was there, <laughs> was in the background of Price Tag by Jessie J, on which she said, do you think I want to be dressed up as a puppet? It, it's clear FK Twigs worked so hard from the start of their humble beginnings. But I think the trouble of being recognized in the background is just that. And that brings us to the first trouble. And unfortunately, that is the curse of being a dynamic Black artist. We cannot talk about the lack of spotlight for Miss FK Twigs without factoring race and the blatantly racist comments uh, that she faced over the course of her unfortunately um, very public relationships. I think it's best summed up by Talia herself when she said, if the color of my skin means that I have to try harder, you know what? I don't care. I'll do it every single time. I'll do it until I'm blue in the face because that's my purpose. She's a force of nature through and through. You cannot stop the Miss FK Twigs. But it is worth noting that when her first project came out, which is incredibly eclectic, very hard to define genre-wise, um, she was classified as alternative R&B, which was a very interesting choice. Anyone who's listened to LP1, LP2, um, <laughs> the one I can't pronounce, Magdalene, Capri Songs, and the rest of it knows that Twigs' music is pretty much undefinable in the best way. I remember when I first heard Water Me and also saw the the visuals and the visuals for Pendulum as well and just feeling completely transported and I think she said it best when it felt like an entirely new genre and that was just so incredibly inspiring to me and I just couldn't believe that no one had pointed me down this road before or suggested me my friend was kind enough to take me to a concert and then I was able to fall in love <laughs> with their art on my own accord. And I think unfortunately because people don't know where to put her because she's so enigmatic, some of that spotlight or notoriety that she really deserves gets scattered. 
um, during her relationship with Robert Pattinson, not only was she racially abused on a regular basis, she suffered from incredibly painful fibroids, which eventually led to a very challenging surgery. You can actually hear about that in Home With You when she's talking about apples, cherries, pain, breathe and be thou pain. She uh, referred to her fibroids as uh, a fruit basket of pain, if I'm remembering correctly. You can watch the Genius video, but... And yet, even though this was so challenging on her physical health, so challenging on her mental health and well-being, she keeps going. FK Twigs is a story of persistence, but you can't help wondering why is it so hard. I'm told I should prepare to travel in a car with her because she might need to go to the studio mid-conversation. Does she rest? No, she says bluntly. It is so hard to make a name for yourself, especially if you are mixed race, especially if you are trying to make something truly innovative, and especially if you have chronic health issues. I don't think people talk about enough how um, <clears throat> the entertainment industry, dancing and um, performing musically in particular, are incredibly taxing on the body. There are so many times where musicians and artists alike are asked to forgo their own health for the greater good, <laughs> whatever that means. And so cultivating those boundaries for yourself and protecting your sustainability is quite a challenge. Unfortunately, I think some people came to know FK Twigs coming out of either her relationship with Robert Pattinson or with Shia LaBeouf, who we know was abusive. Twigs really bravely spoke out about what had happened. I just really admire her strength as an artist and just a person. There's so many times where she's faced with incredible adversity and it's a really inspiring thing to see her build despite that and build such beautiful meaningful work that cannot be made by anyone else if you haven't listened to fk twigs music before i highly recommend it even if it doesn't exactly resonate with you i think it can offer anyone perspective, um, especially, I, I would say Magdalene is probably my favorite project of theirs, but th there's favorite individual songs off of everything, and the visuals as well, cellophane, the music video also changed my life. And despite all this, Miss Twigs is still asked to make TikToks. Um, I think when art and content are becoming more conflated than ever, it's all the more exciting to see art from someone like Twigs. One thing that strikes me is she seems to really live her life as a perpetual student. I had no idea until looking stuff up for this, but Twigs was a youth worker for two to three years before the government funding was cut for the youth program she was assisting in. She originally really wanted to be an art therapist, which makes so much sense. And after being laid off, um, her ability to carve out this unique, amazing career for herself, especially as a Black woman, is incredible. This quote kind of blew my mind. Um, FK Twigs isn't special, she says. She just rehearses a lot. I don't think I was born with anything more than the rest of the world, says the 34-year-old singer-songwriter. It might be hard to believe that anybody could do the splits down a pole or wield a sword wushu style. She can afford private lessons now, but when she started out as a fresh-faced backup dancer, YouTube tutorials and group dance classes helped her to perfect her craft. I practice and practice and practice and practice. That's who I am. That is amazing <laughs> to hear from such an inspiring and innovative artist. She also said, I'm still a beginner, but I just want to put it on stage so I can show everyone where I am. 
it's kind of fun to be vulnerable and be a work in progress. Uh, I believe this was in regards to her wushu style sword dancing. <laughs> but isn't that so nice? I feel like that's kind of rebellion in its own right. I think we're all really attracted to instant gratification and seeing a perfect product right off the bat and um, because of social media and so many other things it seems like all of these people turn out perfect overnight or have the dream whatever overnight. Um, so to see someone who can confidently, confidently sit in their progress and in their process publicly is beautiful and I wish more artists had the wherewithal to present themselves in that way. I love how Twigs separates this divine projection we put onto artists and simply says they practice. <laughs> Obviously there's a lot more than that but what an empowering message to spread and it's so clear her heart is really in bringing so many other creatives into the fold and not the zero-sum game that the music industry so often perpetuates. And on that note, we do have to talk about the cage of creative industries because that's a major factor in taking away the spotlight from the incredible FK Twigs. I had to dig a little bit for this. I've made many videos about artists, uh, particularly popular or well-established artists struggling with finances, especially in the music industry. I think it's even worse in dance, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. And if you're a dancer, you can chime in. Um, but towards the end of the Magdalene tour, which I saw in Brooklyn, she was running really thin on money. This was just before lockdown as well. As Twig says, she watched her bank balance tick down and down. She thought of her collaborators and the people who were relying on her. I wanted to do the right thing and try to keep supporting the creatives around me. But she also thought of herself and the journey that had led her to this point in the wake of this tour being canceled suddenly, or a lot of dates being canceled suddenly because of lockdown. Uh, but even so, even with that factored into everything else, it's kind of wild that at her level, even without, you know, shows, you can be that financially insecure. You can have literally millions of monthly listeners and still not have basic financial security, which I'm sure is distracting to your art, let alone your own well-being. This article goes on to talk about how Twigs took the opportunity to really track down what was happening with her finances under her label contract. Twigs recently left her original label, which used to be called The Young Turks and is now at Atlantic. We don't know <laughs> if this was a factor into that decision, but she did say, I think it's important for specifically young women in a creative industry to have the confidence to understand their business, to understand their worth, and have the confidence to want more for themselves. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay not to be the most studied or still be in command of what aligns and what doesn't creative industries are a wild west <laughs> even if there is cash flow you don't know where that cash flow is going a lot of the times especially if you're managing a team and unfortunately a lot of times that means that artists especially women are caught in the crosshairs with all that being said I think it's a triumph that she continues to make great music and will continue to make great art all around. Um, she's directed commercials, several different campaigns. There's so many different things. Obviously, dances is a fashion, a literal <laughs> bona fide fashion icon, <laughs> although slightly disappointing, I guess, for fans. I think that it's great that if she feels most comfortable scrapping the demos, that she should do that. And oh, I just, I can't imagine how invasive that must feel to have someone leaks something so personal to you so so personal to you um, when you already provide so much vulnerability to the world 
for that to be stolen and taken from you and your collaborators is just horrendous. I'll end it on this quote from Twigs. One of the greatest achievements of my whole life was keeping my shit together. It was one of the things that I'm most proud of that I was able to go on tour and do interviews and stay graceful and keep that calmness. I don't even know if it's right or wrong that I was able to do that. I look at it as a testament to my upbringing and a testament to how much I love my art and to how much I want to show up for people that bought tickets to my gig because sometimes it was so difficult. I do not doubt that (laughs) in the slightest. Yeah, I would love to hear what your favorite Twig songs are. Um, and if there's anything I missed, let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye.